Hi, and welcome to another edition of Strategic Business Insights. Today we're going to talk about big data and where is big data actually being used? Where are big data technologies being implemented? And there's basically two broad camps at this stage. One is essentially data-driven startups, and the other is the Global 1000, the large corporations of the world. And I'm, we're going to speak about these large corporations in this video because they're, you see, the data-driven startups, the data is their value proposition in many cases. So they're, they're, pro, they're providing data, and that's the actual central tenant of their value proposition. But these global 1000 companies, they have a different value proposition which they've had for years or decades and now they're putting a layer of data and analytics on top of that value proposition. So there's a very distinct difference because the data is not the essence of their value proposition. So how are they using data to increase their business or to improve their bottom line? And it boils down mainly to three primary opportunities uh, in the big data space today. So let's look at them. Number one, optimization. Optimization equals reduced expenses. Right? When you can optimize, you're reducing your expenses. Number two, prediction. When you can predict, prediction equals higher revenue. When you can predict something that has value, that prediction has value, you can sell that value. So prediction equals higher revenue. And number three, security equals fewer disasters, okay? Security is fewer disasters. So again, number the, the three of them. Optimization equals reduced expenses. Prediction equals increased revenue. And security equals fewer disasters, which technically can result in either of those first two, okay? So let's just take a look at a few examples. Optimization, this is actually the biggest place so far where big data technologies are being implemented. Uh, we're looking at manufacturing, uh, or rather optimizing manufacturing processes or distribution channels or supplier networks, right? In fact, there's even a predictive element in this area because it's called predictive maintenance. So you're predicting when a machine is going to break so that you can fix the machine before it breaks, okay? That's a part of optimization, and all of that serves to reduce expenses for the most part. There's exceptions, but these are three broad buckets which hopefully will make it easier for you to understand, okay, how am I going to be implementing these in my own business? Well, that first bucket is optimization, which is reducing your expenses. The second is prediction, right? How can you predict a future outcome? How can you predict what your customers will want in the future? Right? Or maybe when they're in a specific location. And because you know they're in that location, you can send them a coupon to their smartphone or do something. You're predicting what they might want and thereby increasing the chances that you can make a sale. Of course, one of the first applications of big data technologies was in the stock market right? with high frequency trading. So where they were using real-time analytics to look at what was going on in the stock market and predict opportunities where they expected a stock price to go up or go down or to even find uh, what they call arbitrage opportunities where a stock might have been trading for one amount on one stock exchange like New York for example but in Chicago it was one penny more or one penny less and so as soon as you identify that opportunity you have an opportunity to capitalize on it and make that profit but again the high frequency trading is driven by predicting the, the direction of the stock market and by predicting the direction you have a profit opportunity. You have a revenue opportunity. And finally, the cybersecurity, the, the security aspect is, is the ability, and this, this stems from viruses, looking at viruses potentially, or DDoS attacks, or anomalies that take place in processing. It also, it, 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 credit card fraud is another outstanding example. But you're, you're using big data technologies to take an enormous amount of data, Try and figure out, is everything working the way it's supposed to? Is everything operating normally or is there an anomaly somewhere? And as soon as an anomaly is found, you can dig into that and figure out what's going on and stop it before you have a real disaster on your hands. So those are the three primary applications of big data technologies today. Optimization, prediction, and security. Hopefully that'll give you a bit more structure to think about your own business and how these technologies are impacting your business today and also your business in the future. Thanks so much for watching this video. 
My name is Patrick reminding you as always to think bigger about your business. Think bigger about your life.